but I had to take that off. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Um, for those of you that don't know me, and I looked around the church, I think most everyone does, but my name is Martha Graham Hyde. And um, for those of you that know me, you know it is hard for me to speak in front of a group, but I want to thank Father Andrew for providing the opportunity. Can everybody hear me? That sounds great. For providing the opportunity for me, for, uh, me to speak to you this morning about pledging and stewardship. He asked me to talk to you about why my family pledges and why maybe you should as well or continue to pledge. Just a little bit more about my family. Both my and my husband's family have worshiped and supported the doors of All Saints for a couple of hundred years. And we actually met at this church as teenagers. But why did our families choose to pledge their time and their hands and financial support for a couple of hundred years? A few weeks ago, the answer came to me and it was something a childhood friend who I grew up with in this church said to me. He moved away many years ago, but every time he comes back to visit his family in Calvary County, he takes the time to worship at All Saints. So a few weeks ago, Father Andrew and I were telling him how good it was to always see him when he comes home. He informed us that he is retiring soon, and we will see more of him on Sundays because, and this is what he said, All Saints is and has been his rock. His rock. His rock. So, what does Scripture say about rocks? Throughout Scripture, rocks are commonly referred to as a symbol of God's reliability and strength. And the Bible advises us that we build our houses and lives upon the stable rock that is simply God's love. Rocks are also interlaced with the idea of refuge, a place to escape the tumultuous hardships of this earth. Hmm, how about that, especially today? A place to escape the tumultuous hardships of this earth. So there you have it. All Saints has been my and my husband's family's rock for a couple hundred years. It has sustained us through all of our years. We have met and made so many lifelong friends, friends who became our family and who were there to help us celebrate our life events and who were there to help us and to comfort us in our difficult and tumultuous times. And I see a lot of names up here where All Saints has comforted a lot of people that have come through those doors. Also, it's, it's friends and family that also helped us to work together to help each other and the community around us. We couldn't do it alone. Um, so, the doors of this rock, All Saints, almost closed a number of years ago. And I know we reference that time period a lot when we talk about our church history. But that time period serves as a constant reminder of what can happen to All Saints Church when we lose our support of hands and time and financial support. And actually, Tom and I recently visited his childhood church with his brother that was visiting, went to his childhood church in Bowie, Maryland, and it was sad to see that it had just recently closed their doors due to waning membership and finances, so it can still happen. So, I am asking that everyone consider pledging once again their hands their time, and importantly as well, financial support to all saints, who is our rock for everyone here and also our community. A couple of years ago, there was a popular craft craze of painting rocks with messages and leaving them everywhere to spread their message and for others to collect. Um, to help you reflect on how All Saints has been your rock, I am asking you to do the same. 
I have provided rocks and waterproof pens in the back of the church. And I hope everyone takes time to take one or two and write on it how All Saints has been your rock. It may simply include a message about times you were comforted here during illness or the loss of a loved one or times you celebrated your life at All Saints. Also listing names of family and friends who have also been your rock here at All Saints. Listing groups and commissions here at All Saints that have been your rock. Listing community projects and events that All Saints has also been a rock, and there's so many to name through the years. Now, it does not have to be fancy. This is not an art contest. It's a thoughts contest. And when your rock is done, I am asking that you place your rock in the garden along our walkway to the parish hall. You don't have to do it today, but take a rock, take a pen, a marker, and maybe it might take a day to go home and think about what you want to say, how, who you want to say it to, how All Saints has been your rock. Um, I, let's leave them here during the, the rest of the month of November so everyone can see that All Saints will continue, and pardon the pun, to rock forever with the support of its members. And I, I have to say, everyone here rocks. Now, having said that, I am concluding. I told Andrew I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk long. I have a couple of rocks that I have stored it. And the first rock that I uh, want to place out there is in gratitude to Andrew, to Father Andrew. Because we've had, he's been here since March. February, and he has had to be our rock quite a few times in the last couple months, and we could not have gotten through without you. So I'm going to place this first, and again, gratitude. You have been our rock. Um, I also, and I'm not an artist. I said this is not an art contest, but I do have Simply All Saints is our rock that will go to. Okay. I have I have two personal two personal rocks. And I have to add a name to this one because I was reminded when I walked in. Um, life I have a couple of lifelong friends that I grew up here as teenagers, as young ch children in this church, who have been my rock forever, for y most of my life. The first one, the name is Taylor. Now, this is really important. Taylor, could you stand up? Because Taylor was the inspiration for my rock talk today. He is the one that said, All Saints is my rock. And we hope we see you a lot more now that you say you're going to retire and come home to us for good. Taylor and I, our families were close friends growing up, and we spent. Um, Deb and Steve Watson their name. And Kathy Natali, I need to add your name because we were all teenagers or close and we all grew up together and were each other's rock during our teenage years. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to finish. This is the last one, I promise. And I had to do this. I met my husband here, my rock. I met Tom. Okay. And having said that, I want to say thank you again for the opportunity to speak to you this morning. And I hope to see some rocks in the garden.